Good evening, and thank you for joining us. In 1930, Ruth Crawford Seeger, the composer for the first piece we're going to perform tonight, was the first woman to ever be awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship. Uh, she went to Europe to pursue studies with some of the most important composers of the day, and uh, she also tried to get her music published. She met with some of the main uh, publishing people at the time. Um, there was this famous Hungarian man, man uh, that she met with uh, for these purposes, and he said to her, well, it would be really difficult for a woman to get anything published. Uh, fortunately, many, many things have changed, and um, then in the next program we're going to be performing in May, we're going to be playing a piece by an Irish composer called Anne Clare, who just a few weeks ago won this major award, one of the most important composition prizes in the world, the Ernst von Siemens Prize, which carries a, a you know, monetary award of something like 30,000 euros. Um, so yes, things have likely changed. Um, this is a piece from 1931. Uh, it's the slow movement of a string, of string quartet that was transcribed for string orchestra, and then for strings. You will hear waves. Um, she plays with dynamics throughout. It's almost a, a very static counterpoint of dynamics that move as waves. And if you know the music of people like John Luther Adams, I think this is absolutely a seed for that kind of music that appeared eight years later. So she was really um, a revolutionary woman in many, many ways. Um, one of the composers she met and was very helpful to her was Bela Bartok, whose concerto for orchestra will play at the end, in the second half of the program. I also want to say a few words about the wonderful, incredible soloist that we have tonight, Ansi Kartunen. It's not often that a university symphony anywhere gets to perform alongside a world-class artist like him. So we're very fortunate to have him here. And tonight we're performing with him uh, the cello concerto called uh, The Six Rounds by Peter Lieberson, also a major voice within the American composers of the last 50 years. He died tragically too young, eight years ago or so. Um, in fact, tonight we're performing the world premiere of the revised version of this concerto, which was written for Yo-Yo Ma. And as you know, professional symphony orchestras have this very uh, hectic schedule in which not much rehearsal time is left for a concerto. So when the premiere took place, there was no time to do any changes in the piece. And subsequently, Yo-Yo Ma asked for the cello to be amplified. The composer was not very happy about this, but you know there was no time for, to do anything else. Now, Ansi knew Peter Lieberson, our soloist, and together they revised the piece in such a way that it does not need any amplification. So tonight we're going to perform for the first time that version. Again, thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the concert. <laughs> 